going on everyone? Welcome to the video. Today I'm going to show you my morning routine. This is a very popular subject. A lot of people have asked me, what do I do in the morning to get ready with my hair, my shaving, everything. So first thing when I wake up, of course, I brush my teeth and then I take a shower because I'm one of those people that have to take a shower every single morning to actually wake up. Uh, today's video is sponsored by Dollar Shave Club. I'm so proud to be partnering up with them. They sent me their ultimate shave starter kit. I'm going to show you exactly what is in this. First thing we have is a prep scrub. This helps to exfoliate the skin and helps prevent ingrown hairs. And next we have the shave butter. So this is a little bit different than your normal shaving cream because it is clear and you can see what you're doing. And then we have the post shave. This is gonna help hydrate your skin. Last, we have the razor. Comes with two razor blades and a very durable handle. And the last product they sent me, this does not come in the starter pack. This is a post shave cream. So this is gonna help hydrate your skin. Now I'm a very lucky guy where I do not have to shave my chest or my back. Just genetically, I just don't have much hair, so the only thing I have to shave is a little bit of my face. I like to leave a little bit of scruff, uh, but besides that, uh, I just don't grow much hair. So we're gonna go ahead and start shaving. On top of shaving, they also sell deodorant, toothpaste, uh, hair care, all kinds of different products. If you're interested in the starter kit, uh, go to dollarshaveclub.com slash able and you get this starter kit for $5 and after that uh, they will ship you full size bottles at regular price. So now onto the hair. Alright so now moving on to the hair. It is now, what time is it? 11.15 and we started this at what time? Like 10. 10, yeah, so it's been a long time. This is gonna be turning into an afternoon routine or a night routine because how long it takes because we have Brady in the other room eating Cheerios. <laughs> it's been caught. Uh, we had to entertain him because he started to cry. Okay, so typically this normally takes me about 15 minutes in the morning. It does not take me long to get ready. So I jump out of the shower, uh, shave, and then I'll start my hair. So what I uh, do, I have damp hair. I just towel dried it and I will use, this is one of my favorite products right now. I'm not endorsed by this at all. Uh, Knight Rider, uh, Kevin Murphy. I just get a little bit in my palm. And then I also use another product, Layrite. Uh, just like a little bit there. I like the other product, uh, the Night Rider, a little bit better just because it is more of a matte, so it doesn't have like uh, like a shine to it or anything. So I just warm it up in my hands, put it through my hair, and then I use a blow dryer just for like a few seconds, not very long. So I don't want it completely dry. And then I'll work it around, use more product, just like a little bit more, not much, about that much right there. Work it through my hands again. And then to get the part, I use a comb, comb that over, comb that down mess with it a little bit more. Sometimes I will actually comb it straight with the comb. Sometimes I don't. It depends on the day. You know, certain days you have better hairdos than other. And after you fix your hair the way you want it, all you do is just spray it. I just use some hairspray. I'm holding it weird. <laughs> and that is it. That is all I do. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I do put on lotion every single day after I take a shower uh, just to hydrate the skin. And one of my favorite products of this kit would have to be the Post Shave Dew. I'm telling you, this stuff smells incredible and it feels amazing on your skin after you get done shaving. So again, if you want to check out the Dollar Shave Club, the link will be down in the description box. Finally getting my coffee at 11.25. I typically have my coffee first thing when I wake up after uh, getting ready and stuff, but today it is later and now I'm gonna have lunch or breakfast that is 
really lunch. So for breakfast or really lunch today, I'm gonna have a cup of oats uh, mixed with half a cup of egg whites and then a scoop of Muscle Tech protein powder. I've been switching up my breakfast recently to one of these blueberry English muffins because I've been switching up like having lower carbs in the morning and this has only 30 carbs in it and the oatmeal has right at like 60 carbs. Uh, and then with the English muffin, I'll have egg whites with spinach and just make it into like an omelet type thing. But today is gonna be legs, so I want a little bit higher carbs, so that's the reason why I'm having the oatmeal. So I'm gonna go ahead, start cooking this oatmeal. I'm gonna add the egg whites while it cooks and then afterwards I'm gonna add some blueberries and that protein powder. So that is breakfast. I have 50 grams of blueberries in with the oatmeal. And Brady's actually about to go take a nap. He is so tired. He slept in even until about like 8.30 or 9 o'clock. And golly, and now he's ready to take a nap already. So I'm gonna finish up breakfast and then go up there and start working on my computer. And that's pretty much my whole morning routine. So now I'm upstairs in my office doing some work and Brady was taking a nap. He just woke up a second ago. Check out my office. I know I show you this all the time because it is truly amazing how junky this kid gets my office each time. He has decided that the cushions no longer stay on the couch, so they're everywhere. So anything and everything that was on my desk or on the couch is now on the floor, so I need to clean all that up. Check out the view we have outside. Today's not that pretty of a day. I feel like I've been saying that a lot in my videos recently. It's just been gloomy here in Texas, but check out the houses that's coming up right beside us. So this is outside my office window that house is coming up so quick so this is across the street we used to be able to see the lake right out here and when that house gets complete we're not going to be able to see the lake at all anymore very sad because you could just sit here and you could see the lake but when that house comes up you're not going to be able to see it at all today is going to be a leg day for me but i'm not going to record it because two videos back I just showed y'all a new leg workout. So I have an arm workout that I posted up on my Instagram, I think a week ago, and I recorded that when I was at bodybuilding.com maybe eight months ago or something. So it's been a while. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, you did not see that workout. So I know you're gonna enjoy that. I'm gonna show you that in a little bit, but first I need to go downstairs, see Mr. Brady and eat lunch, and then we're gonna get ready for the gym. So now Brady is eating lunch, right? He's eating some Yumi bites. Is that good? He loves these things <laughs> and he loves the camera. So I am terrible at this morning routine thing. I totally forgot to show you the pills I take every single morning with breakfast. So I take Muscle Tech's fish oil and then I take Muscle Tech Platinum multivitamin and then I also have some calcium magnesium, clear muscle by Muscle Tech and vitamin D and I believe that is everything. Uh, like I said, I take this with the morning meal. So tonight is the Jake Paul boxing fight. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be watching it or not. I watched Logan's fight in December, but I can't decide if I really wanna watch Jake fight or not. The only reason why I would want to watch it is I kinda wanna see Jake Paul lose. Well actually, I want him to win this fight and then I want him to fight KSI and then I want KSI to beat him up. <laughs> and Shelby just said that was a weird thing to want. I don't want him to win because, I don't know, the last few videos I've seen of him, he is so cocky. Oh my gosh, he drives me nuts. I don't know why. I used to actually like him a little bit, but recently he just thinks he is just like this ghetto thug dude with like his grill in his mouth. There's gonna be another one coming down the line. And doing all these interviews where he thinks he's bad stuff. So I really want to see KSI just like beat his butt. What did you just say about this thing? <laughs> Shelby thinks the volume button on this thing it's is very so cute. cute. <laughs> you dancing, Brady? You want to dance? Yeah, dance. Let's see. Let's get you some music. Dance. Get it. Let me see your dance. That's <laughs> its jump. So for lunch, I'm going back to my old meal that I used to have all the time. I'm having a Muscle Tech protein candy bar uh, because it is 2.30 right now and this is gonna be my pre-workout meal. 
And since I ate breakfast so late, that's the reason why I'm gonna have a protein bar before going. And then I have a black coffee just to have like a pre-workout caffeine before taking my pre-workout. So now I'm all ready for the gym. I got my tights on and my new ZV jacket. ZV is coming out with all new camo clothing. So they got the jacket, they got long sleeves, they have a tank top, they have all different stuff in the camo line and new colors in the long sleeve. It'll be coming out very soon. I'm actually doing a photo shoot this Saturday uh, with the new clothing. So I'm about to take my pre-workout. Uh, Brady wanted me to hold him. So that's the reason why he's with me. Uh, anytime I vlog, he comes up to me and holds his arm up because he wants to be in the camera, don't you? Yeah, you do. <laughs> so I'm gonna take the Vapor One by Muscle Tech, then head to the gym. Now, like I said, I'm not gonna record this leg workout because uh, you guys are gonna be watching an arm workout, so I hope you enjoy it. What's going on, everyone? So as you can see, this is not at bodybuilding.com. I decided I'm gonna use that workout in a separate video, and this one is one that you have not seen as well. This is also posted on my Instagram, so if you follow me over there, you've probably seen this workout maybe eight months ago. Uh, but anyways, this is a great arm workout. It's a very high volume workout, so let's go ahead and go through it. So the very first exercise was rope push downs. I did four sets of around 10 to 12 reps. After that, went into weighted dips. I did four sets of 10 reps, and on the last set, Set, I did a drop set. So what I did was just go to failure and then immediately drop off the plates and just do body weight until failure and that was the drop set. After that went into easy bar skull crushers. I did four sets of 10 reps on the last set did a double drop set. So I was resting for around 60 to 90 seconds in between sets. Now later on during this workout you will see me do a set of seven sets and that's when I was resting for around 45 seconds but everything else was around 60 to 90 seconds. So that way I'm able to get my breath back and get my strength back so as you can see with this skull crusher I'm going right past my forehead stretching down at the bottom I'm also using wrist wraps uh, so my wrist have been giving me issues where if I use heavy weight on certain exercises my wrist will start to hurt so those wrist wraps help a whole lot when I'm lifting heavy weight now if I'm not lifting that heavy that day I don't use them uh, but on the heavy days where I'm bench pressing or doing a lot of triceps, I like to use those wrist wraps because they do help. After that, went into close grip bench press. I did four sets of 10 reps. So when I go close grip, uh, what I'm trying to focus on is bringing my elbows down to my side. So I'm not going like a chest press where my elbows are kind of going out. The, my elbows are going in by my side. And my grip is not all that close because if I go really close, my wrist will really start to hurt. When I was younger, I could bring my wrist all the way in like pretty much touching together but the older I get the more they hurt during close grip bench press so after that went into straight bar push downs this is the exercise I did seven sets of around 10 to 12 reps I was only resting for around 45 seconds so this is kind of like the FST 7 sets that you see uh, on bodybuilding.com by Haney Rambod he's all about doing seven sets of seven trying to get as much blood into that muscle as possible so this is the last tricep movement and then we worked on biceps and the very first bicep exercise with barbell curls. I did four sets of 10 reps on the last set, did a drop set. So I'm trying to lift as heavy as I can for those 10 reps, uh, going all the way down, curling up, trying not to use a lot of momentum uh, because a lot of the times uh, if you lift too heavy during barbell curls, you will use a lot of momentum and you won't necessarily be using a lot of your biceps. You're going to be using your lower back to swing that weight up there. So you want to lift heavy, but you don't want to lift too heavy where it's going to sacrifice form. And then that is how you get hurt. After that, went into preacher curls. I did four sets of 10 to 12 reps. On the last set, I did do a drop set on here. So I'm going all the way down, stretching down at the bottom. When you do preacher curls, you really want to focus on controlling the weight down. Too many people go too far down too quickly and when you do that you have the potential of hurting yourself because your arms are locked in there, your elbows. So if you go too quick then you can actually pop your biceps. So you want to go down in a controlled fashion when you do preacher curls, really with any exercise, but really with that preacher curl. After that, went into dumbbell curls, alternating curls, four sets of 10 reps on the last set, did a double drop set. So as you can see, the dumbbells are down by my side. I start off with like a hammer curl or a neutral grip, and then when I come up, I'm rotating those dumbbells in as much as I can, bringing those pinkies in. So that's gonna allow me to fully contract that bicep at the top of that movement. After that, 
went into incline bench hammer curls, four sets of 10 reps. So what I love about curling on an incline bench is that you cannot cheat reps, meaning you cannot use momentum while you do this exercise because you are locked in there. And it also allows for an amazing stretch down at the bottom of that movement. So I'm going down, stretching as far down as I can, actually flexing my triceps down at the bottom of that movement. So that way it ensures that I am stretching that bicep to its full potential by flexing my tricep. After that went into the last exercise, it was reverse easy bar curls, uh, four sets of 10 to 12 reps, no drop sets or anything on this movement. What I'm really trying to focus on is good form because a lot of the times uh, people will use too much weight on here and it's not gonna be working your biceps the way it should because you're using too much momentum. So you wanna go down, go up, at a good pace and squeeze the whole entire time. But guys, that is the end of the workout. I hope you enjoyed it. If you wanna give this workout a try, it'll be written down in the description box. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. So done with my workout, I took a shower. And now Mr. Brady is just chilling before bedtime. Well, it's only 6.30. We do have to cook dinner. Uh, Shelby said, I think we're gonna eat pasta tonight. And then, I guess relax for the night? I don't know, what do you wanna do, Brady? All he wants to do is sit around and play with toys and get into things, right? Like the trash can. He's all about getting in the trash can now and still with Gainer's dog food. Dinner's about to be ready. I decided I'm gonna watch the Jake Paul fight. Nothing else is going on tonight on a Thursday night. So I got it here on my laptop. Brady's sitting here watching it with me. Boxing is not that exciting for me. I like UFC way better. Uh, but they have entertaining fights, but this one in particular has gone nine rounds and they are doing absolutely nothing. It is so boring. The spaghetti is ready and Brady's already digging in. Is it good? Hands and all. <laughs> Use your fork. Be a big boy. Use your fork. No, not tonight. Okay. Now Brady's off to bed and it is 9.30. I am watching the Jake Paul fight. Well, he's about to fight in about 10 to 15 minutes. So guys, I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. And I'll see y'all next time. All right, guys, peace. Even my arms, I do not shave my arms and I barely have any skin. The hair that I have on my- I barely my... have any skin. Oh. <laughs> huh.